All right, so just a very quick update for those of you that missed the news this morning. Uh, the next unit dropping on the JP side of the game is going to be a Dokkan Festival exclusive Raditz. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are in the same boat as me right now in the sense that you don't know exactly how to feel about it, you know, because this is something that has been talked about for uh, some time now, you know, like if Fidel can get a Dokkan Fest unit and recently Captain Ginyu got a Dokkan Fest, then why not rat it, right? But now that it's actually happening, um, I'm not sure how I feel. I think I'm going to be cautiously optimistic, you know, because I'm sure that they are going to make him extremely, extremely powerful. I think it's going to be something similar to, uh, you know, Videl, where it's a less hype character, and also Ginyu at the same time, you know, less hype characters, you know, not really the same level as a UI Goku or a Majin Majita or whatever. But because of that, they need to do something to, you know, incentivize people to summon, to spend stones, to buy stones. So he's probably just gonna be absolutely insane. You know, like, I don't need to see the details to really tell you that this guy is gonna be a monster. Uh, he might be maybe a little bit limited in terms of his best teams or maybe the enemies that he's effective on or whatever, but uh, in his best case scenario, in his, you know, best situation, he's probably gonna be one of the best units in the entire game because, you know, just gauging the reaction on Twitter right now, talking to a few people, it seems like, as I would expect, you know, people aren't that hyped for Reddit. There are a few out there who are really excited, like really, really excited for this, but they're uh, far and few between, you know? So <laughs> yeah, I uh, can't wait for the details. Um, the animations I'm sure will look fine. There's not a lot of source material, honestly, for a Raditz unit, so um, I'm sure they'll just make it look really clean. Uh, I doubt it's going to be like a, oh my god, top five animation in the game kind of situation, but you never know. You never know. Um, and the other exciting thing about this is because we're getting more Doka Fest for these, uh, I guess, more minor characters or like not as main characters from the, fr from the franchise, it makes it more likely, in my mind at least, that a standalone Android 18 Tokan Fest unit is not that far off in the horizon. Now, I did say this when Videl came out, right? And it's been, what, over a year now uh, since that happened, and we still haven't seen a Tokan Fest Android 18, but I'm still hopeful. All right, fingers crossed. I still believe that our girl will get her own Tokan Fest standalone, not with 17, not with 16. You know, not with Krillin or whatever, not part of a joint forces card, rather just a Android 18, Dokkan Festival exclusive Android 18 by herself. It's going to happen one day, guys. It's going to happen one day, and that day will be absolutely glorious. But for now, uh, Raditz coming, Dokkan Festival. Uh, let me know in the comments down below how you guys feel about it. Uh, I am, once again, tentatively optimistic. Um, hopefully he does not disappoint. I don't think he will. And uh, in terms of categories, uh, maybe this will be our first Saiyan Saga leader. Maybe like a 200% lead straight up for Saiyan Saga units. There are quite a few good Saiyan Saga units in the game now. Like the uh, 7th Anniversary Dodoka Fest with the Kalkin Goku and the Grade 8 Vegeta, right? Those two would be great on that team. Um... We have the other Falcon Goku and uh, Fizz Vegeta um, and, and a couple others out there. I guess it would be a somewhat limited category, honestly, but yeah, probably 200% for Saiyan Saga. That'd be cool. And then um, low class warriors or <clears throat> even, even Goku's family would work, I guess, but 
doesn't really make sense to make Raditz a Goku's family leader. So uh, we'll see, we'll see. But I think the point I'm trying to make is he's gonna be extremely good. Uh, he's definitely gonna be a 200% leader, as we know, because they have to do that for every new release now. They can't go back, you can't go backwards, right? So uh, stay tuned for his details, stay tuned for his animations. I don't really have too much to say about it right now because we just have no details, but um, this is just my initial reaction. These are just my initial thoughts. Uh, I think he's gonna be amazing, but he doesn't really get me going. You know, it's not like when I when I see some of these uh, previews, like when we saw the Majin Vegeta one, I was like, yo, Majin Vegeta, man, like that's that's hype. Like I'm gonna wail out for him, right? But when it comes to Raditz, I'm like, yo, like even if he's amazing. I don't feel the need to really summon for him, but that, you know, that depends on, I guess, how good he ends up being. But even that, even if he's, like, really, really good, um, yeah, I mean, I think a lot of people are probably going to skip him just because it's, it's a Raditz, right? <laughs> so, that would be a shame, but that's just how it is. Uh, I think at this point in the game's uh, lifespan, more people are summoning for characters that they like, more people are summoning for hype as opposed to summoning for actual performance and obviously there's a balance between the two but uh generally speaking yo if a unit is hype if a character is hype rather even if their performance is not really up to par or like as good as you would like it to be people are still gonna go out for them because it's just a hype character right so uh that's it i'm trying to see if uh, there's anything else i want to say before we Get out of here but i think that's everything there is to say dokkan festival raditz guys it's actually happening it's actually happening i would love to hear opinions in the comments um maybe some predictions about his leader skills his passive uh what his animation will look like what his super attacks will be i mean it's i guess he doesn't have that many attacks so it's pretty obvious in that sense but um there was one funny idea that i saw Goresh bring up uh on his twitter page and he said that it would be hilarious if he got like a boost on a specific day of the week on Sundays, right? Like, for example, on his passive, it was like, this guy has an 80% chance to stun. Like attack all, 80% chance to stun. Specifically on Sundays. So like, that would be the day to bring Raditz into Super Battle Road to uh, basically cheese all the stages, right? So that'd be hilarious. I wouldn't want that because <laughs> That would make him very, very limited in his uses, but interesting idea, interesting concept. And even though it's a joke for this guy, actually in the future, if they wanted to do like units that are better at certain times during the day or like certain days during the week or something like that, it'd be kind of cool. I mean, it'd be unique. I don't know how people would actually react to that, to be honest. Is that even allowed? Are they allowed to do that? I don't know. Uh, either way, <laughs> that's going to do it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, look forward to all the Dokkan Fest Raditz details coming up in the near future, probably in a couple days, maybe even tomorrow. We'll see. And uh, yeah, thank you for watching. As always, if you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video. Sub to the channel if you're new. Hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows. You want to stay up to date with all my latest content and until next time have an awesome awesome day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out